it took to secure a buyer for Kate and Phil Grace's Adelaide family home was a social media post. I only said something along the lines of, watch this space, three bedrooms on 800 square metres, coming up in Hampstead Gardens soon, and my phone just started ringing. The home was built by Kate's grandparents in 1958 and has been in the family for three generations. The property market is um, at a stage where we feel that we're going to get our best price, um, but it is a truly heart-wrenching decision um, about having to leave the family home. Adelaide was one of three capital cities that continued to record double-digit price increases in February. Sydney home values went backwards for the first time in 17 months and slowed in Melbourne, Perth, Canberra and Darwin. Across the nation, prices were up 0.6% of a percent and 20% for the year. Even before an official rise in the cash rate, there are headwinds for the housing market. And these come in the form of affordability constraints, uh, higher levels of listings that are coming onto the market, particularly in Sydney and Melbourne, as well as a lift in the fixed mortgage rate space. Which could be good news for first home buyers like Joanne Kim. I'm just hoping that prices stagnate for a little bit. I don't want it to go up anymore. It's just so difficult. She's been trying to buy an apartment in Sydney's inner suburbs for about a year, but until now, soaring prices have restricted her ability to get into the market. Only last week I was looking for an apartment that I thought was going to go around like the 800 to 900 mark, but it sold for 1.5 mil. An increase to the official cash rate will help cool the housing market, but the Reserve Bank has kept it on hold at 0.1% of a percent for now. It wants to see sustained wages growth before it starts forcing interest payments higher. After its monthly meeting, the RBA governor said the war in Ukraine will trigger a spike in global inflation, driven by higher energy prices. But he expects that to normalise and is prepared to remain patient before lifting rates. We still think that the first rate hike will come in August and another one in September, so taking the cash rate to 0.5% by the end of this year. Three, two. Despite signs, property Three, prices are starting to temper. Megan Tamlin thinks Adelaide's market still has another 12 months of growth to go. It's crystal ball territory, but I just still think that the shortage will continue and I think Adelaide will absolutely boom. Oh, hi, Megan. How are you? Which presents a problem, even for those selling in a hot market. We're going to have to sort of pounce on something as soon as we see it because the market is, is definitely tight. Showing how the property market is still booming in some places, even as it starts to cool in others. Thank you.